dear students in this video we are going to see the definition about linearity property of laplace transform okay the property is i just mentioned l of a f of t plus p g of t equal to a into l of f of t plus p into l of g of t let's see the definition first the statement is if a and b are constants while f of t and g of t are functions of t whose laplace transform exist then see that a and b are two constants while f of t and g of t are functions of t and their laplace transform also exist the laplace transform also exists if it is exist then the linear property is the linearity property that is l of a times f of t plus b times g of t equal to a into l of f of t plus p into l of g of t that is the linearity property of laplace transform now we are going to prove that it's a proof first you take the left hand side so left hand side means in your equation this is your left hand side that is your right hand side so you choose the left hand side your answer this is your answer is in the right hand side you have to obtain so we can choose the left hand side so this is your left hand side you choose that equal to l of a times f of t plus p times g of t we know that the formula already we know that laplace transform of f of t equal to we know that already integral 0 to infinite e power minus st f of t dt this is the formula of the laplace transform now we apply the same formula here see f of t place we have this is f of t value so here you can replace this is equal to this value so the formula can be written as this term can be written as this term can be written as equal to integral 0 to infinite now i am going to up, apply the formula apply the formula for l of a f of t plus g b of t that's equal to integral 0 to infinite e power minus st f of t value f of t value you just copy these terms so a f of t plus b g of t into dt just i apply the formula for this values all the values i am applying in the formula e power minus st f of t dt now you can multiple this term with inside e power st first term e power minus st second term also so first term while you are multiple you get integral 0 to infinite e power minus st a f of t plus now i will multiple with the first term first term second term again you multiple with second term you get e power minus st b into g of t T, 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 t is common for both terms next you can split into two different terms this is your first term this is your second term but the limit is is take separately first term one time second term also limit so we can split into two different terms so this is equal to integral 0 to infinity e power minus st 
a into f of t into dt plus integral 0 to infinity e power minus s t p f of b g of t into dt. So here it is an integral. In integral see that it is integral. So here also integral. So a b is a constant. Here a is a constant. Here b is a constant. So we can take the constant terms outside. So take a and b outside. Take a comma b. These are constant terms outside we take the constant terms outside after this becomes here now once i take a outside then the remaining terms are inside therefore the first term becomes a is outside integral 0 to infinity e power minus st f of t into dt similarly here second term we take p terms outside then you get p into integral 0 to infinity e power minus st g of t times dt now this is of the form Laplace transform again you check the formula your formula is the Laplace transform formula you obtain now see the same formula you obtained here see e power minus st f of t dt equal to this can be written as l of f of t see check that term see e power minus st f of t dt integral this can be written as l of f of t this is called L of G of T. This is also of the form e power minus ST G of T into DT. This is the formula for Laplace transform. Therefore, now by Laplace transform formula, this is the formula that is equal to, this is A times L of F of T. Next is P into L of G of T because L of F of T equal to L of F of T equal to integral 0 to infinity e power minus S T F of T T T. So e power minus T F of T T T can be written as L of F of T. This can be written as L of F of T. Then similarly the same way L of the G of T is equal to e power minus S T here G of T into T T. So, g of t into dt. So, this can be written as L of g of t. So, by using Laplace transform, we write it. Here, two constants are there, a and b. We just copy it outside. So, now we obtain the answer. This is equal to our right-hand side. We check it clearly. Right-hand side. We take the left-hand side value. We obtain the right-hand side answer. Your right-hand side is this answer. Now, we got it. Therefore, hence, it is proved. Therefore, L of A times F of T plus B times G of T equal to A times L of F of T plus B times L of G of T. Hence, proved. Here, we proved the formula. So, hence, proved. Next, we are going to see an example how to solve this kind of problems using linearity property of Laplace transform. Okay, our example is see the example question is find the Laplace transform of f of t is equal to 10 t minus 5 okay now we are going to give the solution we are finding the laplace transform for this term so solution your question is find the laplace transform of 10 t minus 5 equal to here we can take it is split into two terms l of 10 t minus l of 5 now here we are going to use linear property so using linearity property of laplace transform
you know that l of what is the formula for linearity to property l of a f of t plus b g of t equal to a into l of f of t plus b into l of g of t that means if you have a constant inside the constant is coming outside we are also coming outside that is the meaning for the linearity property formula in our problem we have seen that the equation 10 is a constant and 5 is a constant so you take it outside using this property so after taking the constants outside your problem becomes that's equal to l of 10 t in this 10 t minus l of 5 t is here in the first term 10 t you take 10 outside so 10 outside then it will become 10 times l of t in the second term also you can take it out 5 outside so that will become minus 5 outside remaining nothing is there so you assume that l of 1 inside so after taking the constants outside you get l of t l of 1 what is the formula for l of t l of t formula is equal to 1 by s you have to memory that laplace transform of t equal to 1 by s square If you don't know the formula L of t, then you can apply in this term. You know that L of t power n equal to n factorial by s power n plus 1. Your question you have L of L of t power t means t power 1. So you apply here n mean n equal to 1. So 1 factorial by s power 1 plus 1. So 1 factorial that is 1. What is the value of 1 factorial? Equal to 1. s power 1 plus 1 is 2. So you get 1 by s square. So, here you get 10 times 1 by s square minus 5 times L of 1. L of 1 equal to our formula is L of Laplace transform of 1 equal to 1 by s. You have to memory that. It's a formula. So, you apply here you get 1 by s. So, now you multiply you get 10 by s square minus 5 by s. Therefore, after solving that we obtain the formula L of 10 t minus 5 equal to 10 times 1 by 10 s square minus sorry 10 by s square not 10 s square 10 by s square minus 5 by s you can further next also you can simplify otherwise you can stop up to this term in this method we are applying the linearity property of the laplace transform okay if you have any doubts or if you want to solve any problems, you have to send a mail to this. Your questions to royal dot mathematics two thousand twenty one at gmail dot com. I will send the answer in the coming videos. Okay, thank you.